Morning, everybody. Uh, just a couple of practical things for me this morning. Um, so I'll start. I'll start with everybody first, and I'll have something to say to each year group. Uh, so just just for everybody, first of all, thank you for getting online last week. Those of you that did, uh, the feedback has been fantastic from that. You, you know, you're bringing a lot of energy to those lessons, which is brilliant. Uh, and the attitude of our students on there has been great as well. So so well done. Um, but I think you'll you'll know by now that these lessons um, take quite a while to set up. By the time everybody's logged on, it takes quite a while to complete the activities. Uh, so expecting uh, the kind of same speed of delivery uh, is probably not sensible. Um, so what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch the timetable over two weeks. Now, we'd like this everyone to get on board with this. Essentially, the idea would be uh, in week one, and this will be week one, we'll teach periods one, three, and five, and, and we'll try to have some live online interaction with you, all of your groups. Uh, so that's ambitious, but that's what we're going to try and do. One, three, and five on week one. Uh, and then on week two, we'll they'll have some sort of live interaction periods, two, four, and six. Um, so just try to get on board with that simple concept, the timetable being split into week one, one, three, five, week two, periods two, four, and six. Uh, so try to be on there um, and, and get involved. Now, I am asking our teachers on Friday to down tools and stop teaching. So we will take our Easter holidays as normal. Uh, we need to do some more planning. Uh, you guys need to probably get offline for a little while and, um, you know, embrace other things for a bit. Um, so... Really, what, why I'm telling you that is because I really need you all to get online this week. Okay, so we, we're going to actually have to start looking for those of you uh, who we haven't heard from. You know, there aren't many, there aren't many of you, but if everybody gets online this week, that'll just make it easier for us, uh, and you're going to reduce our workload uh, in terms of making sure that we that we're in touch with everybody. So that that's the ambition for this week: get everybody online, uh, but in a kind of reduced fashion in terms of expectations. So we're just going to be teaching periods one, three, and five this week. Uh, now, I know some of your teachers will have a slight work around on that, and I know some of you have doubles, and I know all of those kind of little quirks. Don't worry, you know, I, I know that. But just in theory, the one we're aiming for is everybody's going to be online periods one, three, and five this week, okay? So ju just work off that premise, uh, and then I understand that some of you will have small workarounds uh, because of the nature of double lessons. I, I get that. Um, uh, okay, so I'm going to do these in two parts. So I, I'm going to finish this first one here just because uh, I have to send this by email. Uh, and I'll have a second one with some messages for everybody in a moment. Uh, but just before I go, I'd say that the teachers here are supporting each other tremendously. You know, really great support for each other. Uh, I'm watching them all emailing on chat uh, forums together. You know, really, really good. Uh, so I hope you are all uh, supporting each other in the same way uh, and keeping our community going. Um, okay, I'll come back in a second with some uh, advice year group by year group. Thank you. Okay, so part two. I'm going to go through this quickly. Um, so year, this is a year group by year group message. So year 13, uh, what I'd say to you is that we're, you know, you just stay online with us this week. Um, very focused on you and year 11, uh, trying to get answers. I mean, what we feel is... It just logically, it's going to have to be some sort of teacher assessment moderated by the exam bodies. Um, all I can say is I guarantee you that we're very good at evaluative assessment. We know where our, our assessment uh, sits. And the type of moderation that you're talking about, that, that the government are talking about, we do that in-house anyway. Okay, So we check where the assessment is coming from that you're doing. Um, so we will be able to give a very fair and accurate set of results for each and every one of you, okay? So don't worry about that. Uh, we're, we're good at that. Um, then other news is gonna come out, okay? So just you just stay with us this week. Stay with us online, one, three, five, same as everybody else, okay? Um, years nine and 12, you've both been out for a little while now, Two weekends, which must feel a bit odd. Uh, all I'd say to you is keep ticking along. Uh, year nine, you're on a three-year GCSE pathway, so um, we'll be able to catch you up. Okay, so you just keep ticking along, keep ticking along, uh, and we'll we'll sort you out when we get you back. 
Uh, year 12, you are probably a bit more similar to year 10. This is where we're right in the heart of uh, content delivery uh, in terms of your pathway. So actually year 12, you're in a similar boat to year 10. We're actually depending on you to do quite a lot of work independently. So, so year 10 the same, just keep the foot down. You're gonna, keep, you're gonna have to keep working hard right now uh, because when this does pass, uh, you're going to have to hit the ground running. So years 10 and 12 of everybody now, I'm starting to become more worried about you almost. Uh, so keep, keep the foot down. Uh, year 8, we just happen to be in um, a big transition on the curriculum. Uh, so we're not, we weren't doing options this year. Anyway, I've written to you all about that in January. Um, I mean, you've had some assemblies on that. So that's good. That's really good. That means that we are, uh, unlike previous year groups, we're offering you less subjects, um, which was a little bit controversial, but in the, in the big scheme of things, that's worked out. So you're going to do less options, just three options as opposed to four. Um, and we're going to catch you up as well. So, so really, year eight, what I'm saying to you is just keep ticking along, just keep working. Um, and similar, in a similar fashion, year seven, uh, try to kind of stay engaged with your learning, try to enjoy it. Uh, shouldn't you know it shouldn't be torture you know you should just get on there and do some interesting stuff uh periods one three five this week periods two four and six check in with your teacher keep building those relationships that are going to stand you in good stead over the next um five seven years um so really you know i don't have massive clarity and, and, and when you are emailing me and you know do keep emailing me k scanlon at uk. feel free to email me that is actually quite helpful to me uh a lot of you are asking me when will this end uh you know i follow the news like you do uh so i don't really know is, is the honest answer but my instincts would tell me uh from listening to certainly dr jenny harris yesterday that you know next half term forget about it okay we're going to be at home and online for the whole half term that that's probably almost guaranteed and then what i suspect will happen is is that we'll have partial reopening okay uh so fingers crossed we get back in here in june you know i think that'll be the earliest uh, that's what i'd like because believe it or not we do most of our work for next year uh in the summer getting ready for september uh but it is you know there's an there's also an outside chance that we don't get back until September. That, that's also uh, a possibility. So somewhere in between June and September, um, things will start to get back to normal. That, that's, that, that's the plan. But uh, as I said, we're making an adjustment in terms of our teaching. Uh, make sure everybody is online this week. We need to touch base for every single student. Um, have a good holiday. You know, we'll do something on Friday to mark the end of the of the of the half term. Uh, and, and keep emailing me. Feel free to email me. I've got uh, some time to answer those. Uh, sometimes it's just a one word answer, so don't expect a big long answer. I'm just flying through them, but uh, it is it is useful to me to hear from you and uh, hear how it's all going. Okay, SLWA, keep going, keep ticking along. Uh, you'll hear more from me throughout the week. All the best. Bye.